In this video, we will showcase the multi-clump baking tool for AxGen. To use the multi-clumping bake tool, all existing clumping modifiers must have their maps baked at least once. The tool will then be able to read and reuse the settings for each modifier to perform the multi-bake procedure. This hairstyle in the scene is built with three clumping modifiers. In this setup, clumping one modifier use guide as points. Clumping two and three uses the previous clump modifier as control map. If your clumping one modifier is using guide as point, whenever a guide is added or removed, each clumping modifiers need to be updated. Traditional way to do this is to click into each clumping modifier and rebake each clumping maps, one by one. Instead of doing this, we are going to use the multi-clump bake tool to fasten this workflow. Next, identify the parent clumping modifier. The UI will detect clumping modifier that uses region map as the parent. Check the checkbox beside it, and it will check on all the children modifiers for that parent. Simply click on Bake Clump Maps, and it will bake all the maps for clumping modifier that is checked on. Let's add a guide and adjust it to create a small strand. You can see the clumping maps and the hair primitives are updated to the adjusted guides. Remember, since our clumping one modifier use guide as points, adding or removing guides will require updating all clumping maps. During my workflow, I usually leave the multi-clump bake tool open, especially when I need to adjust guides. That way, I can quickly update all clumping maps in one click. If you have a description with multiple clumping modifiers, all clumping modifier with a region map in the control map will be flagged as a parent. In this scene, my clumping 1 and clumping 4 are both pointing to a region map. Checking on the checkbox on a parent clumping modifier will automatically detect their children clumping modifiers. I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Smiley face.